What's up guys, this is Solistic here and welcome to episode 9 of Pokemon Break Bronze. So last episode, we met up with those lazy lumberjacks and taught them a very good lesson. So we fixed the Bidoof problem and the dam is working now and now we're in this beautiful city which is called Laguna Lake. So a little glimpse of the lake, it's right there, beautiful blue lake. Looks like there's a observation center in the middle. Yeah, we'll go check that out. And then another thing I noticed is this place here. It looks like a daycare, I believe. Oh, those round green and red balls must be like eggs. Okay, let's actually go check this out. So we're inside the daycare. Let's see what this lady has to say. Welcome to the Pokemon Daycare. We're happy to help raise your Pokemon. How can we help you today? Oh, so we can actually leave our Pokemon inside and they'll level it up for us, I guess. How about you? I usually leave my Pokemon here at the daycare while I go to work during the day. Just recently, I've received two different eggs from the daycare man. I have a white egg and a black egg. I can't keep them both, so I was wondering if you would like one. No, this isn't happening. We're actually getting our own Pokemon egg. This is exciting. Hmm, I don't really know which one to pick. I'll just go with black. Yep, I'll take care of it for sure. Ooh, that actually looks pretty cool. It's like a black lightning bolt on it. A mysterious Pokemon egg. Okay, that's cool. I'll hold on to that. Okay, so let's ex explore this town even more. Hey there! My wife and I look after Pokemon here at our daycare. You would like us to help you raise Pokemon and talk to my wife inside. I already did. Uh, but thank you. Anyways. So off to the... The laboratory or observation deck. I don't know. This is a cool looking bridge. So let's see what awaits us in here. Oh, we got some scientists here. Welcome to the Laguna Lake Laboratory. So it is a lab. Here we explore and study the bottom of the lake and what's been left behind by nature. Using this submersible known as the underwater mining vessel, we have sent many people deep below the surface in search of whatever they may find within the lake's trenches. The UMV is electric, powered by special batteries. You will need to purchase your own batteries to power the UMV if you wish to go on a dive yourself. However, we do have enough funding that we can send you down once for free. Aw, oh, that's cool. I'm, I'm actually very excited to go down there. Once below the surface, you may search the walls and the trenches for shiny spots indicating hidden objects. Simply click on the shiny spot to begin mining. The UMV is equipped with explosive charges and a drill. The explosives will break away the rock quickly, but the drill is much more careful and precise. The reason I mention this is because with each attempt to break away the rock, the walls will become more fragile. Can I go on my expedition now, please? Oh, we can keep anything that we find. Would you like to go ahead? Yes, of course. Oh, we also got to save. Oh, we're underwater guys. Look at our beautiful submarine. Oh, it's actually cool. So we have to look out for shiny spots in the wall. Oh, right there. There's two. Oh, I remember this. This is like similar to Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Where we have to find, or well, we actually go underground and then we find, you know, like goods that we can use. Oh, there's something here. Yes, we got all the items: light clay and the heart scale. Now let's go to this one. Nice music. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure many of you would have uh, played this mini game in Diamond Pearl. Let's go underground and dig up 
various items. Oh, it looks like we got a leaf stone and a yellow shard. So let's carry on. It's actually really cool. But too bad we have to pay for the rest. Only one free expedition. Come on, shiny spots, where are you? Any shiny spots? Any, any, any? Come on! My battery is draining here. Where are you at? For my first free expedition, it's not what I signed up for. There we go. Okay, so we get a drill and explosives. And as that lady mentioned, the drill is more precise. Oh, it looks like we got something here. Looks like a revive. Yep, it is. So we got Revive and Star Piece. Not what I wanted, but it's okay, it's free. We'll take it. Any more shiny spots? Wait. There we go. Didn't want to miss that. Let's actually try the bomb. Ooh! Oh, perfect! We got Moonstone! We need that to able Nido Reno and to Nido King. Okay. Oh, looks like it's a fossil, no way! I never knew we can get fossils here. Now I'm used to drill. Yes! We have Moonstone and Helix fossils. I'm guessing that's Ammonite. I prefer Kabuto over Ammonite. You guys might have your own preferences. I wonder if there are other... Other fossils. So it looks like we got a green shard. I'm guessing we can trade these in to. What is this? Ooh, that's a cool looking fossil. It looks like we got another shard here. Yes, we got everything. Green shard, sail fossil, and a blue shard. Oh, looks like a couple, we got a couple here. Yeah, so we can trade in the shards for, I believe, like stones. So like leaf stone, fire stone, sunstone. Oh, what's this? Looks like an orb. Looks like we got another shard. So we got an iron ball and yellow shard. So I'm guessing the iron ball. Increases steel type moves. Oh, looks like it's just this green plate. Shard. Wait, there's something else here. Ah, we couldn't get out everything. Green shard, great. Ah, oh, battery's low. No, there's just two more. Okay, so we're back in the lab. Let's talk to her again. I want to dive again, please. No, let's see how much these batteries are actually worth. Oh, it's Robux. Wait, I think I can get one. Oh, I can. Okay, perfect. Let's go down there one more time. Yes, please. Here we go, guys. Okay, let's go this way. Yeah, so that's actually pretty neat. We can find fossils. We could probably get all the fossil Pokemon down here. But we'll be using only one or two. 
They're all very good, but you now we can only carry six Pokemon at a time, which might or might not suck, but there we go, our first shiny spot. Let's see what we have. Oh, another fossil. Yes. Looks like a feather. And the sunstone. Beautiful. Oh, what's this? Oh, more clay. No, that's dynamite, the last one. We couldn't get the clay, but that's fine. A blue fossil and a sunstone. You know, this is nice music. Okay, we got a couple here. Let's do this, guys. Oh, looks like we got a plate. That looks like it's a plate. And that. Another moonstone. Okay, perfect. We can leave off someone else. Done with this. Ah, uh, we almost got the shark, it's fine. An iron plate and a moonstone. Oh, wait. I forgot what zone that was. <laughs> We're stacking up these moonstone. Oh, looks like there's a thunderstorm too. No, that was so close. So we got moonstone and smooth rock. I prefer is it the, the thunderstone actually. Looks like we got another one here. Oh, another fossil. Looks like it's a claw fossil. So, wait. I think that's Anorit. So we got another shard. Da! We're off our game. A root fossil. Wait, that's Lily. Yeah, Lily. From 3rd gen. So we got a plate. Red shard. Blue shark and a fossil. Okay, I don't want to miss this. Oh, this is a huge fossil. No, I clicked the wrong one. Ah, that was so close. That was a huge fossil. I would have loved to get that. Chinese. Shiny spots. Okay, we got plate and leaf stone. Okay, let's grab that. Then more shards. Ah, we're always so close, and we miss some of the good stuff. Any shiny spots. Come on, couple more, okay, I saw one, let's go for this one, so many plates, and shards, shards, uh, come on, okay, whatever it was this, what else is in here? Oh, not the shard. That's fine. I think we get like four. Oh, the battery is finished. Yeah, so we get four shard pieces. And then we combine it to make another shard, I guess. The bigger shard. Yeah, so these are the items we got. We got hard scale, light clay, yellow shard, leaf stone star piece, helix fossil, moonstone, cell fossil. And we got plume fossil. Root fossil, okay. So I think there are 
each of these fossils are from different different generations. That's actually cool. So let's see what this guy does. If you happen to find a fossil in the lake, you can bring it to me and I will revive it with this machine. Okay, perfect. Just what we need it. Uh, you can revive all of them, please. Okay, so I don't actually know what a sail fossil is. Yes, please. An Amora. Oh, that's interesting. Yes, please, I have more. So we know what a helix fossil is, most of us. It's Ammonite. And let's see what the plume fossil is. Oh, it's an Archin. Oh, that's pretty cool. You know what? We'll just revive all of them. Because, uh, I don't think I'll be coming back here. I might. But that's up to you guys. If you want to see more underwater expeditions, let me know. And we'll dive right into it. It's so, Omnite, yep. And yep, that's our last boss. We can actually evolve our Nido Reno right now, but I want to level it up a little bit more so that it's stronger. I'm not sure about the move sets. Yeah, okay, so the root fossil was Lily. So I was correct, okay. How about you? I've only been below the surface of the lake once. Usually I run tests from here in the lab on what others find deep below. I've even witnessed people finding stones that cause certain Pokemon to evolve. Like us, we found a couple of evolution stones. It's a pretty cool lake. Okay, so we're out of here. So just for you guys, I'll show you guys some of the fossil Pokemon that we revived from the fossils. Okay, so we have this. Amora. Oh, it is pretty decent moves, actually. So it gets boosted attack. That's not bad. I'm not sure if it's a special attacker or a physical attacker. So we have Archin, raised, special defense, okay. That's cool looking Pokemon. I like him. So he also has pretty nice moves. They're mostly rock type. We got Omanyte. Most of you guys should know. He has pretty cool moves. Okay. And the final one, we have Lily. Not that good of a move set, but it's fine. Guess it's okay. Okay, so we'll just carry on. Look at that! The town has its own roof. This town actually has a roof. Okay, so we got the entrance for the next route there. Let's actually see what's here. Okay, just a beautiful view of the lake. Looks like we got a small house here. So I think, like, once we learn swim and waterfall, we can go up there. But for now, we can't. So let's go in this house. Oh, looks like it's a fisherman. No, this can't be. Back in my day, I used to enter a lot of fishing competitions. My highest streak of reeling in Pokemon consecutively was 51. Wow. Cheers to you, fisherman. I love fishing so much that I moved out here next to the lake. I don't fish very much nowadays. Yeah, I know. I could share one of my older rods with you. Yes. Can this day get any better? And we went underwater for a diving expedition and now we get 
this old fishing rod. This is the fishing basics. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. You know, sharing is caring, guys. So let's actually try out the fishing rod. Oh, this is cool. Okay, let's see what we get. We actually need a water type. No, we don't. We got a zoom reel. Oh yeah, and that's what happened. Our mirror evolved into an Azumarill. Yeah, so some of the clip from... Like half the clip from... Uh, last episode was... Wasn't there because... My recording software... Oops, I keep missing it. Okay, yeah, so my recording software... Is actually bugging out. Couldn't get the second part of the clip. Uh, to you guys, so that's why last episode was in a short one. That I keep missing it because I'm focused on, you know, like talking to you guys. Well, I see how this works. Okay, so once the exclamation mark comes up, we have to click again. Okay, so let's actually focus, try to see what we get from the water. There we go. Looks like it's a magic card. Typical, typical magic card. Now, if we actually find a higher level one, I might catch it. Cause Gyarados, it's such a cool Pokemon. Oh, looks like it's mostly level ten. Is there anything else we can get here? Nope. So it's carrying. Oh, wait. Get the sneaky Pokeball. It's hiding there. And we got Mystic Water. Wonder what that does. Oh, yeah. We should actually check some of our items. Let's see. Mystic Water. An item to be held by a Pokemon. This teardrop shaped gem boosts the power of water type moves. Okay, so we'll give that to a Zoomerill. What's Star Piece? Small shard of a beautiful gem that demonstrates a distinctly red sparkle. Can be sold for high price, okay. This extends the duration of the move Sandstorm. Iron Ball. To be held by a Pokemon at lower speed and allows ground type moves to hit flying type. That's pretty cool. Okay, so hard scale. It's just a rare heart shaped scale. So light screen and reflect will be effective longer. Moonstone we know, leaf stone we know. We got shards, and then we got some stuff. Okay, so carrying on. Let's see what's behind this entry. Of course, it's a hallway, but past the hallway. Oh look, what's this? Looks like we have Jake. You took on Team Eclipse all by yourself. That was pretty brave of you. I've got to be honest, that whole time I was waiting at the gym for Sebastian to get back so I could be the first person to get the Brimstone Badge. I was honestly too scared to go challenge Team Eclipse. And there's the music. <laughs> Will you proven to me that we really are capable of doing great things with help of our Pokemon? I really admire your strength and determination. You can show me how you train your Pokemon. Let's tackle the trainers on this route together. You take the lead. I've got tons of potions and stuff. The Pokemon get hurt in battle, I'll heal them afterwards. Aw, thanks, Jay. You know what? Just for you, I'll show you my battle my battling techniques. Looks like we got an Oddish. So I'm guessing we're gonna run into a bunch of grass type Pokemon. We actually need one, I think. So let's take on the first trainer. So I'm guessing it's a double battle actually. Oh, there are two of you. That's super that sure is unexpected. I guess we'll have a double battle then. If you aren't familiar with double battles, then you're about to be. It's a lot of fun. Bird Keeper Armin, Pidgeotto, and Flechinder. This is perfect. Double the XP. I love it. Let's see. I should really get a rock type. Go horn attack the flip tinder. 
Oh, looks like he evolved his Eevee into a Vaporeon. Ah, oh, no, we got burned. Wait, ah, uh, he has a Blitzel too. I told you I was going to show you my battling techniques, but that doesn't mean you can copy my Pokemon, buddy. Hmm. I need to get better moves on Nidorino. Really? Am I the target now? Thunder Wave, that's a good strategy. Keep it up, Jake. Uh, okay, let's double kick it to get the two times attack. Okay, that barely did anything. Need two damage. Yes, it's paralyzed. Okay, that's good. So I'm guessing most of these battles are going to be a long one. Let's go, horn attack. Oh, double paralysis. I like that, Jake. Keep it up, buddy. Ooh, 600 EXP. And the rest of our team gets it too, thanks to our EXP share. Okay, this is it looking bad for Nidorino? Bird Keeper's man. Let's go. Wait, yes, Blitzel. Blitzel duo. Let's do this, Jake. Come on, Jake. He's already paralyzed. Can't paralyze him again. Doesn't work like that. So, let's go. Shockley. Oh, I thought it would be a one hit. But we can Pidgeotto. Almost. Almost killed him. Keep trying. Come on. Do I have to be the scapegoat here? Good thing we have super potions. I got your Blitzel. Wait. It's a Solistic and Jake. He was the Super Potion, so... What does that mean, actually? We have to dig into this. Pursue it. Hmm. I guess I'll learn it. Maybe. We'll get rid of... Flame Charge. Quick attack. Let's outspeed the bird. Yes, good job. Man, oh man, we get a lot of EXP. Wow, looks like you got in the hang of it. But right back at you. Excellent battling. Here, allow me to heal your Pokemon. Oh, that's cool. He heals. Okay, guys. Oh, I'll just leave it there for now. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did like this video, you know, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.